What's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about 6 foot 4, 220 pound outside linebacker Clayton Smith. Before we get started guys, remember the best way to let me know that you enjoy this content and you want to see more is number one by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. After breaking down Clayton's film, the first thing I notice is that he is unbelievably athletic. Whether it's the bend in his hip or his explosion off the snap of the ball at the outside linebacker position, or his ability to make leaping catches at the wide receiver position. He exudes athleticism in every single facet of his game. The young man is also an elite edge rusher, and it all stems back to his explosion off the snap of the ball. It sets him up for natural speed rush opportunities, which is why Clayton is so successful at running the bell curve. He has good hip bend and can also dip and rip past the offensive linemen. But even if the offensive lineman were to get inside hands and get a punch in on Clayton's breastplate, he has active hands and does a great job of disengaging by either batting the offensive lineman's hands away or clubbing and ripping past him to get pressure on the quarterback. But Clayton's not strictly a speed pass rusher. You're going to see throughout the highlights, he bull rushes and use power rush moves on offensive linemen. And as soon as that offensive lineman tries to anchor down and regain position, that's when you see Clayton's active hands come into play, and he disengages from that offensive lineman again, putting pressure right in the quarterback's face. The young man has unbelievable closing speed and pursuit of the ball carrier, and he can effortlessly change direction. He's a high motor and high energy type of guy that plays with an immense amount of swagger. You're going to see throughout the highlights that his team feeds off of his energy. It's also worth mentioning that Clayton has good length to his frame and is a rangy defender with a large tackling radius. There are going to be plays throughout the highlights where it looks like the ball carrier is out of range, but Clayton's able to swoop in and make a tackle. The young man is a hard hitter and delivers bone crushing hits. And he's also no slouch in the run game. He holds the point of attack and does a great job of sniffing out the ball carrier on read options, but also hugs the hip of the offensive tackle, making it very difficult for pulling guards to block him. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and jump into the highlights. That is an outstanding one-handed catch. He high points the football, and with that leap, we also get to see the athleticism. Look at the explosion. He hugs the hip of the tackle, and he is so quick into the backfield, that pulling guard doesn't even have a chance to get a hand on him. It leads to an unimpeded path to the running back, forcing that fumble in the touchdown. Look at the speed and the explosion off the snap of the ball. Clayton also dips and rips past the offensive tackle. He sees a running back might be able to chip him. He gets skinny and he converts with a sack. That is an outstanding contested catch and it's reassuring to see because when Clayton has to drop back in coverage as an outside linebacker, when that ball comes his way, he's gonna make the sure catch. That's a great job of disengaging. He gets inside hands, and as soon as he notices that the offensive tackle is no longer kicking, he extends, creates separation, and pulls the offensive tackle by. And then, that's great pursuit to the quarterback to get the sack. That is a perfectly timed chop and rip by Clayton. He knocks the offensive lineman's hands down and sacks the quarterback before he has any chance to get rid of the ball. What a catch. He high points the football and mosses the cornerback. Look at how quickly he's able to decipher who has that football. And as soon as he does, he's able to close the gap and tackle him in the backfield. He splits right through the field goal unit, gets vertical, and blocks the kick. He follows his assignment and squeezes the offensive tackle. As soon as he notices that the quarterback keeps the ball, he reroutes and he hits him with a bone crushing hit. It's such a hard hit that the quarterback thinks to himself, man, maybe I don't want to be running the football anymore in these read options. That's a great job of reading and reacting to what the offensive lineman is giving you. He notices offensive tackles oversetting, so he automatically shoots that B gap, slides right on through there for the sack. Look at the motor on this play. He never quits on it, and he delivers a bone crushing hit to the quarterback. 
He gets pressure on the quarterback's face and forces the throw. And here we see again, he never quits on the play. And I'll tell you one thing, when you have that high motor and that never quit mentality, I can promise you, he's gonna bring the same mentality in the weight room, he's gonna bring the same mentality in practice. That's the right mindset to have. He forces the offensive lineman off of his track with the speed rush and the punch. And as soon as he cuts back to the inside, the offensive lineman can't react. He puts pressure on the quarterback and forces that interception. That's excellent technique. He notices that the tackle's working to the second level to block the linebacker, so he hugs that hip pocket, making it an impossible task for the fullback to kick out Clayton. He shoots the gap with such power and explosion that the tight end doesn't even get a hand on him. He hits the running back three or four yards in the backfield. I love the power rush move. He gets inside hands on the offensive tackle, and as soon as he starts to lean, he does a push-pull, and he gets right to the quarterback for the sack. Look at that jump cut and movement skills. Mind you, Clayton is six foot four, and he moves so well, he's very nimble on his feet. He runs through that tight end's down block, gets in the backfield, and tackles the running back for a three-yard loss. That is an excellent job against the run. He's got low pad level and inside hands on that offensive tackle. And as soon as the quarterback tries to evade the pocket, he's able to disengage that offensive tackle and sack the quarterback. That is a beautiful club and rip. As soon as the offensive tackle is about to throw his punch, he knocks his hands down and gets an easy path to the quarterback. He's got inside hands on the offensive tackle and low pad level. He's able to shock him aside and pursue the quarterback and force that incomplete pass. He wins another contested jump ball by out-muscling the cornerback. He follows his technique and follows the hip pocket of the tackle. Look at the effort and that's another bone crushing hit. He's dropping back into coverage. He notices the quarterback is starting to scramble. So we see great pursuit and reactions, but also he's aware as to what's going on. Look at the effort and the motor on this play. The offense even left a running back in the backfield to shore up the outside edge. And Clayton still makes a sack with the offensive tackle and the running back assigned to him. Oh, that's beautiful. He gives the offensive tackle the jab step. He lets him overset, then he rips to the inside, then also rips past the running back to get in the quarterback's face. Again, gets through two blockers to put pressure on the quarterback. That's beautiful. He gets chopped by the offensive tackle, but look at the effort. Here it is again. He's able to make up so much ground in pursuit of the ball carrier and lays another bone crushing hit. Clayton has elite pursuit of the ball carrier and it's shown throughout the entire highlights. That pulling guard is supposed to kick Clayton out on the edge, but he's so quick off the snap of the ball, he's able to get to the running back in the backfield and create a huge loss. Look at the awareness and how quickly he's able to close ground once he knows that the quarterback has kept the ball. That's beautiful. Man, he is rangy, and the pursuit is unreal. That pursuit and undying motor is going to get him places. Clayton is going to be successful at the next level. He can beat you with speed rushes or power rushes, and he has an unreal motor. Not to mention, his pursuit of the ball carrier is second to none. As he continues to mature physically and put weight on his frame, he's going to be a dangerous pass rusher. Thanks so much guys for watching the video. If you've enjoyed this content, remember, let me know by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. And also, if there's somebody you want me to cover in a future video, leave it in the comment section below.